so they come. Universal offered us like a million dollar deal. We're like, man, I ain't no money. And I remember I had shot this movie called Envy, and they offered like two million dollars before I had finished shooting it. I'm like, man, I ain't no money. When I finish shooting the movie, they're going to give me 10. But by the time we finish shooting the movie, I'm damn near indicted and shit all fucked up. And I still ain't made a dime off the movie. And I spent $2 million making a fucking movie. Shit. And we had Lisa Ray in the movie, Ray J, uh, Chico DeBarge, the rapper AZ. What movie is this again? It's called Envy. I did that shit. Damn, I, hold on. I, I, was I just, seen that movie. Hold on. That was, uh, I seen it on like, it's on Netflix or? I mean, it might have been on, on uh, you could pull it up on YouTube, yeah, yeah. but I really, that, the way the guy who handled it, like, I don't want to bad my from a drag him through the mud and he just did the best he could or with what he had or what he knew, you know what I'm saying? But I spent two million on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So shit. shit. And I was, listen. This this all factual shit. shit. Ask anybody. Before Eminem shot Eight Mile, yeah. I was the first nigga in Detroit shooting movies. I'm talking about big okay. boy shit. Like, Damn. I, yeah, because I was gonna say even the movie you have now don't look like no little boy shit. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all, Detroit rappers be having some good quality movies, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like Ice for Vezo shit was pretty icy. I was like, man, y'all niggas be having some nice little, you know. Yeah, like I, I fuck with Vezo. I fuck, like the Detroit. Uh, rap coach, I fuck with everybody. Like Sada, my guy, Payroll, my guy, Babyface Murray, my guy. I got records with all those guys. About to come out shortly. You know what I'm saying? I even play some of the records for you before I get out of here tonight. Yeah. But uh, it was That's hard. to come. That's hard. But man, those are those are great individuals, man. They they got work ethic. You know what I'm saying? They done grinded. <laughs> They've carried the Detroit uh, rap legacy even further. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, Detroit. Kind of doing their thing on the hip hop thing, you know. So, so I want to ask you. I gotta ask you this because you're from Detroit, you know. And BMF seems to get all of the shine when it comes to, you know, the hustlers out of Detroit selling, you know, big flashy and all that. But it sounds like y'all were kind of there before them, you know, and y'all kind of laid the foundation. Um, when when did they come into the picture in your in your mind? And then like, um, being honest, do you think that y'all had more? In the game in Detroit than they did while doing y'all run, you know, y'all run versus I they think, run. Man, shout out to Meach and T and all the BMF. I know a lot of those guys, you know what I'm saying? So there's yeah. no knock or disrespect on them, but I think they probably have a more broader popularity where they, that's made them popular. Like, oh, they popular in Atlanta, they popular in St. Louis. But uh, if you want to be actual and factual, yeah. If you talk that Detroit shit, uh, Not even close. Be like, man, motherfucker, want to be a lord, a street lord. Like you, like you would hear that. Like, and I ain't just saying it; it's, it's real. Like, you yeah. go do a survey, you gonna hear the popular people now say who they looked up to. It right. ain't no knock on them. I think BMF is cool people. You know what I'm saying? I, I rock with Tony. You know what I'm saying? I, I rock with a lot of, them, but we was doing our thing. Not even close. So and everybody want to be a lord. Like, they became more popular after we got indicted. Though. So they what, definitely became more popular. So do you think that's just because they branched out and went to different cities and kind of was more uh, was flamboyant in different cities versus y'all kind of staying in Detroit? For sure, I think they got a lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Because it it make it seem bigger, even though we don't necessarily know how big it was, other than what the news say, and they we know they lie. You know what I'm saying? Like. If, would you have um, moved around too? Would you have like, let's say, if you had that opportunity to take the brand and move it, the Street Lord brand? You think you, if you could have did it differently, you would have moved and took it to different parts of the. the I mean, I States? sold drugs other places. I sold drugs in Virginia. I sold drugs other places too. Like I ain't get caught in those places, but I took weed other places. I sent weed other places, but. I wasn't never trying to be popular for selling drugs, to be honest. Like, it's just like, shit. I always started trying to start a business and create an extra strategy. Like, I was doing clothes. I went to Hong Kong and China back then. I did, I did like four million in sales at the Magic Show selling clothes back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was shooting movies back then. So I always been looking for a way out. It never was like, oh, I want to just be this big drug kingpin. That wasn't it for me. You know what I'm saying? I can't say for the rest of us that was 
rocking. But I, everything I had going on was like shit. I gotta get the fuck out of this shit because this shit can come to an end any day. Shout out real ass street stars, nigga. Moolah.